Hi there, Madcap Propeller Heads. Welcome to Doc to Help 6. Here's what's new. First, there's a new accessibility feature to help users quickly skip to the main content. In previous versions, users working with a screen reader and net help output would need to tab through all the navigation items before arriving at the main topic content. Starting with this version, NetHelp outputs using Section 508 Accessibility Mode, which is set in the target, will include a Skip to Main Content option when the user opens a topic and presses Tab. After users encounter this option, they can press Enter to bypass the navigation. Focus will go directly to the content instead. If you're using a custom theme, you can edit the text used for this option. This can be done on the right side of the Theme Designer in the Accessibility section. Another new feature in this release is the creation of new themes based on custom themes. Previously, you could create a new theme based only on a predefined theme, but now you can do this based on custom themes that you previously added. This can be very useful if you have a custom theme where you've already made lots of changes and you want to create a new theme that's much like the one you customized, instead of starting all over with a predefined theme. So, in the NetHelp Theme Wizard, choose your layout, then a style sheet. On the next page of the wizard, select a custom theme that you previously created. Then click this checkbox, which tells Doc to help that you want to create a brand new theme. Complete the fields on the next couple of pages of the wizard. Then, on the confirmation page, give your new theme a name and click Finish, then OK. And there you have it. Your new theme is available along with all the others from the Target Theme dropdown. Also in this new release is an option that lets you add a URL or a JavaScript link to your logo. This can be done just below the field where you choose a logo in the Theme Designer. It can also be done here in the NetHelp Theme Wizard. If you add a URL or JavaScript code in this field, the URL will open or the specified JavaScript action will take place when a user clicks the logo in the output. Speaking of URLs, there's a new column in the Topics panel. This column identifies the generated URL for each topic in your project. You can click in a cell and manually change the URL if you want. You also might notice some high DPI changes in doc help these DPI enhancements make it easier to see parts of the interface, such as buttons, on 4K monitors. You'll notice these changes when you're working in the Doc to Help add-in within Word. And finally, Doc to Help has added support for SharePoint 2016. It also now supports Word 2019 as well. For more information about all of these features, see the What's New topic in the online help. Enjoy the new Doc to Help 6!